Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to sit down and try some new products. I have two new collections I really wanna focus on. The new REM Beauty Chapter Four. So this has complexion products in it. I've actually been hearing good things about the concealer. And then I also have the Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. So this collection has like an eyeshadow palette and lip products and then a lip mask. I have the new Sigma powder that a lot of you have been asking me to try as well as this new Makeup Forever Dual Ended Mascara. So I'll probably throw in some other things as well, but I really want to focus in on Jaclyn Cosmetics and REM Beauty. So if you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. I do a ton of trying new makeup, Sephora hauls, and I'm starting to incorporate drugstore products. And I'm actually finding some I really love. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. I will link all the products down below in my description box as usual, and let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start off with the Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. This is a smaller collection, only a couple new products, but it's called the Strawberry Feels Forever. I love the marketing and she just looks beautiful. So there's some new bright shades of her lip liners and liquid lipsticks, and then we have a new eyeshadow palette and also a lip balm. So I thought we could try the lip balm first. I love the packaging. It's called the So Jelly Lip Mask. It has this really beautiful, like bright pink top to it. Now, the only thing I will say is I tend to not like to dig my finger into lip products. It's just a personal preference, but this smells so good. I smelled it yesterday and it is truly like strawberry heaven. So this retails for $22. I wanna go ahead and feel it. It feels really like gel-like and very thin. It smells really good. So she says you can use this before bed or before you do your makeup. I mean, I typically use the Too Faced pillow balms. Probably use this the same way just to really hydrate your lips as you do your makeup. Feels really nice on the lips. It's very thin, but it has a nice like slip to it and it smells really, really good. It gives you some shine too, which I like. That's one reason I like the pillow bombs is because they give me like a hydration, but they also give me just a little bit of color or shine. So I feel like I can wear them throughout the day if my lips look dry. So this feels really nice. In terms of where it's made, it has a six month shelf life and it says that it is made in the USA. So these products are gonna be available August 4th on the Jaclyn Cosmetics website and then August 7th at Ulta. So I like that they're coming to Ulta a lot faster than they were previously. So now I want to get into the eyeshadow palette. So this is called the Strawberry Feels Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $34. There's no mirror and you get 10 shades in here. It has a 24 month shelf life and it's made in the USA. So I want to go ahead and swatch some of these and just see the pigment. It looks like it's mostly matte, which I actually really like. There's only two shimmers in here, so I want to swatch the shimmers first. Okay, so here are the two shimmers. So it looks like you have a really light one that you can use on your inner corner, and then you have a deeper one. Now I want to swatch some of these mattes. I really love berry tones and pinky tones, so I feel like I will really like this color story. So here are some of the mattes swatched. They feel really nice. They're not incredibly powdery in the pan, so we're just going to have to try them on and see how they apply. I'm going to apply a little bit of like a tape today and try to do something like more winged out with shadow. Okay, don't judge me. I don't have tape up here, so we're improvising and I'm just using those like patches for acne. Let's just not talk about it. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to start. I think I want to, I'm trying to figure out if I want to go like lemonade or this shade. I think I'm going to start out with the peachy shade called Day Date and I just want to sweep this all over the crease and just sort of put a base color down. So it's applying more sheer than I thought. Let me see if I need to like get in here. It's definitely a soft color. So I'm just gonna take it like all over the lid. Yeah, this is really soft. This is one of those that I probably should have not set my concealer on my lid. This tape is like pulling at my skin, not the best. It's not even tape, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that shade was much more sheer than I thought. I really thought it was gonna be a little bit more, you know, impactful. So I'm trying to decide if I should go into, let me try this one down here, see if this has more punch to it. Okay, this one does for sure. That's kind of what I was expecting with the other one, but just more like peachy. Yeah, this one definitely has more pigment. I don't know 
That first one's just so sheer. I feel like you really honestly have to use it on like a sticky base. This color is pretty though. I'm just gonna kind of go over what I did because that first shade was just like not really showing up. So to really amp this up, I'm gonna go into this shade right here using a smaller brush. And I'm gonna try to do like right on the outer edge here, almost like a wing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this over just using a really small brush. And then I'm just gonna kind of soften it, try to like smoke it out a little bit. And then to really create the depth, I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade in the palette. I hope this is deep enough. And I'm just going to basically put this like right at the lash line and where that tape is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. Just so we have sort of like an outline, I'm definitely gonna have to like clean up underneath here. And I think once we do lashes and finish everything off, it will come together. So I'm just cleaning up underneath and just sharpening this outer edge. So I'm gonna leave the eyes there for now. I wanna try out this new mascara from Makeup Forever. So this is called the Profession All, which is kind of a cute twist, and it's a double-ended mascara. So it has step one lift and then step two volume. All right, so let's go ahead and start with step one. This is a really small wand. I feel like a lot of people may like this for their lower lashes. So let's see, this is supposed to be the lift. Okay, so I feel like you're gonna have to build this. It's a drier formula. Okay, I'm really hoping that the volume side is gonna help us out here. So this is the lift side alone. Um, I don't feel like it did much, but going in with the volume side now. Okay, so I much prefer the volume side. I don't really feel like I'm overly impressed though, especially for like two steps. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other eye. This uh, step one, I feel like not enough product is like coming off. Maybe it was just cause it was like the first time I used it. I'm trying to really get in there. Okay, I've had eye twitches for like the last few weeks and I don't know why. And it's this eye's really bad and it's like twitching randomly. Okay, I feel like I got a little more oomph on this side with the step one. So let's go into the step two. Okay, this side's working better. So maybe it was just like initially there wasn't enough product on the step one. Can you guys see? I feel like this eye looks better. All right, so let's just ignore the mascara on my brow. I don't know how I got it there, but I'm gonna wait till it dries and take a spoolie to get it off. But this is what my lashes are looking like. I feel like they look okay, but I don't know if I'm wowed. So I'll have to keep trying this out, but I am going to apply some corner lash off camera and then we will get back into trying all the other products. All right, lashes are on, I'm letting the glue dry, but I wanna hop in to the complexion. So I have the new PR package from REM Beauty and this is the chapter four. So in this collection, there's concealer, there's a blurring primer, a sponge, and then blotting papers. I wanna start off with the primer. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is $29, which is a little pricey. You do get one ounce and this is supposed to blur the look of pores and uneven texture it says it offers a soft tingle that cools on contact I don't know if I'm gonna like that so let me go ahead and pump some of this out I want to see or I guess squeeze some of this out I want to see if it's scented and what the feel is okay it's a gel so this is very much a gel silicone primer I'm not smelling a scent so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this I mean this is like very gel silicone. It doesn't have um, as much slip as I thought. Like I thought it was just gonna slide. It's a little bit more dense. So I wonder if it'll kind of have like a gripping effect too. And I like that it's not full of fragrance. Like I can't smell any fragrance. So it's been a couple minutes and it's set down. There's a slight sort of gripping feel to it, but it's not slipping and sliding like a typical pore smoothing primer, so I wonder if it's going to grab onto makeup. I don't feel really a cooling sensation, so that could be a good thing if you're sensitive, but I wanna go in and just use a foundation I know I like. So I'm gonna mix my Lancome Tint Edol Glow with my NARS Soft Match just because I know that I like this combo and I wanna see how my pores look 
obviously with the foundation on. So foundation is on, I wanna move in to the concealer. I have to give them props. This concealer comes in 60 different shades and they did send the darkest and the lightest. So the darkest shade is called Rich 10. I mean, this may be the most inclusive range I've seen. And then the lightest shade is called Fair One. So you can use these to customize if you want to, but I just love that I feel like pretty much everybody can find a shade that will work for them. I'm probably gonna go in with the shade Light 6N. I did already swatch this, but this is $24. It is a potted concealer. So they say that this can be layered for customized coverage. It's a soft matte finish. You can conceal, correct, and highlight. I've seen some people really give this a good review. So this is what the shade looks like that I'm going to use. And it is creamy. It's more hydrating feeling than the NARS Pot Concealer. Now they also sent over this little sponge. So this is available now as well. It's $15. It's called the Dream Cloud Blender. So it says it's latex free. It's great for a streak free airbrushed finish. It's really tiny though. And I've seen a lot of people use this dry. So I don't know if I should wet it. I probably am going to wet it though, just because I feel like that's how I like to use sponges. So what I'm going to do is just apply some product with a brush and then use that sponge. I think I took that up too far. Good job. I really want to sharpen this. So I went ahead and wet the little sponge and I'm just going to start blending. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I like this sponge under the eye. I feel like I can't get in there where I need to. Let me zoom you in. How do I get in to blend? Okay, I'm not gonna use a sponge. I'm gonna move to my beauty blender so I can get like in the corners of my eyes. Okay, so this is one layer of the concealer. I would say this is like a light medium. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just try to really add some coverage where I need it. So this is what we're looking like building it up. I feel like I just have a little bit of like darkness showing through and I don't know it's creamy but it's almost like do you see when I try to like blend how it lifts right there I feel like I've been seeing everybody raving about this concealer on TikTok the coverage I would say you're gonna have to build it if you have a lot to cover or you could try like a color corrector before I'm not really loving this I feel like I just couldn't get in there uh, but it is creamy, but for some reason I feel like it's like clinging. It's just looking a little textured, I guess. So we're gonna have to see once we put powder on. Now I've used this powder off camera a few times. This is the Soft Focus Powder from Sigma Beauty. And I have the shade here, Vanilla Bean. And I've been liking it so far. I don't know if it's gonna beat out like my top picks, but you guys wanted my opinion on it. So one thing I like is it's not scented. This is what the color looks like. It's a very thin formula. So it's not thick like the Laura Mercier Translucent, um, but it's not like a Makeup Forever HD powder that's flying all over. It's just nice and thin and lightweight. So what I'm gonna do is get the creases out and press this and pull it down. So I feel like this is a nice smoothing powder. Like I noticed that it really smooths the T-zone, I don't know again. I haven't used it enough to know like if it's going to replace my Huda Beauty. Okay, so you can see that I applied the powder on this side and you can just see that it set everything nicely. It's a very thin, lightweight powder. It doesn't have any shimmer, which is another thing I love, no fragrance, and you can just see how it smooths out my texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, but I've actually been enjoying this powder. So far, like I said, I've used it a handful of times, so I have to like continue to get my full thoughts, but pleasantly surprised. Just happy that it's not full of shimmer like all of the powders I feel like on the market recently. And I also really like that it doesn't have a scent. I wish the Huda would take the scent out. The Huda. I wish Huda would take the scent out of hers because it's just really too strong. I'm noticing like crepiness on my under eyes. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's like dry right in here, which again, I've used the Sigma powder a couple times and didn't have a problem. Like I hope that you can like see 
like right in here. So that's not my favorite, but just something to note. All right, so I finished some of my other makeup off camera. I will link what I use down below, but I wanna go back into the palette and finish off my eyes. So I think I'm just gonna go in with the deepest shade and I wanna just sort of like stamp right there on the outside of my lower lash line. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of this shade with the deepest shade. I don't really wanna use this one right here because I feel like it can make you look a little bit sick. So I don't wanna do too much, just like a light smoke. All right, so let's finish off with lips. I have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks and Lip Liners. So there's three new shades. The lipsticks are $20 and the lip liners are 18. These are all extremely, extremely bright. I really don't even know which one will go with the eyes I have, so let me just dig in and see. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really love the packaging. I think it's just like a fun collection with the pink. I will say, again, I am not huge into liquid lipsticks or these bright colors, but I wanna start off, maybe let's try strawberry cake. So this is what it swatches like. It's bright. I really hope it doesn't look crazy with these eyes. Let me swatch the lipstick next to it. I mean, holy crap, these are bright. Okay, so we're just going to try this one out. I don't know if I want to apply all of them on. Let me swatch this one. This one is called Sugared, which is like neon. That one actually might, I don't know, neon orange. And then let's swatch the liquid lipstick. I mean, these are like, holy crap. These are neon, neon. So this one right here is called Sugared, and this one is called Strawberry Cake. And then finally, I'm gonna swatch Juicy, which is right here. That's the lip liner, and then the matching lipstick is this one. So they're all very bright. Obviously, that one's the most wearable. I think I wanna go with the first one I said and just hope that it <laughs> that it matches this eye look. Uh, I swatch on the palm of my hand because these will stain. And then when I'm trying to do like other content throughout the week, I have stains on my hands, which is not good. All right, so I'm gonna line my lips with strawberry cake. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the matching liquid lipstick. I don't think I like this combo with these eyes. Okay, so this is the strawberry cake combo. I really love her lip liners. I'm not much into liquid lipsticks. I mean, this is like neon, and I don't really love it with the eyes. So I'm trying to figure out what color would work, just because I feel like this is super bright, and this one is even like more intense. I'm almost wondering if like the deepest shade might be the one that's gonna look the best with these eyes. So I wipe most of that off, but I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade called Juicy. I didn't wanna wipe it all off because it'll mess up my foundation and honestly trying to get an even line is a task in itself. All right, so now I'm going to apply the matching liquid lipstick. This one is definitely not as Intense as the other two. Also, I just noticed they smell really good, like strawberry, but I always have to clean up like underneath. Nude lips are just so much easier. <laughs> like this is like, you have to be precise and make sure that you're lining everything right. And now I gotta like do the cleanup. All right guys, so here's my finished makeup look trying new products. Not sure I'm loving the combo, but I just worked with what I had. So a standout for me has to be the Jelly Lip Mask from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I love the packaging, I love how thin it was. It smells incredible, but it really did hydrate my lips. I don't like that it doesn't have an applicator. I just prefer to use a wand so I don't have to dig my fingers in. But other than that, everything about this was hydrating, it was comfortable, it smelled really good. So this is something I could see a lot of people like. Now, in terms of the eyeshadow palette in this collection, I think it's super cute. I think it's a fun little palette. Do I think that this is anything, you know, revolutionary that you need to go out and buy? No. I feel like I didn't have any issues using it. I mean, everything blended beautifully. There wasn't, you know, any patching or
or a ton of fallout. My only thought is that this shade is so, so, so sheer that I feel like this won't show up on a lot of different skin tones. Of course, I did only use like, you know, four or five shades, so I'll have to keep trying it out. I do like that it is more so a matte palette just because I use matte shadows most of the time. So I think it's a cute, fun little palette, but I don't think it's anything, you know, crazy that you've never seen before. Now, the new mascara from Makeup Forever, I'm a little bit undecided on. I feel like it did look better on the second eye that I used it on, so maybe it just didn't have enough product on the wand. And I do like the versatility, meaning that you could use like the small wand on your lower lashes, which is what I did, or if you really want to separate them, but I feel like you're really gonna get that va va voom from the volume side. So I'll keep trying this out. It's a drier formula. It didn't get all over, so I really liked that, but I feel like it just needed a lot of building up on the step one. And for me, I'm a little bit impatient and I don't know if I'd have the patience to do that every day. Moving on to the REM Beauty Blurring Primer. I like that it didn't have a scent and I actually did like the texture. It's a silicone sort of slippy feel, but it has almost like a gripping uh, factor to it. So it's not slipping and sliding or lifting when you put products on top. Sometimes the really silicone primers, I feel like they slip so much that things don't stick to them. This had some sort of like density to it, which I liked. I didn't really feel cooling and looking at my skin. I mean, I feel like my skin looks nice and smooth, but I am using, you know, foundations that I know and love. So this is good so far. I'll have to keep trying it out and update. Now in terms of the concealer, I have to say shout out to REM Beauty for coming out with 60 shades. Love to see it. I would like to see more brands follow suit. Maybe not 60, but you know, 30, 40 and really make it diverse from super, super fair to deep dark. And that's something that I have to give them props for. Now in terms of the formula, I would prefer a little bit more coverage in my concealer. I know it says that it's buildable for me, I don't want to apply a lot of concealer because then it just starts looking heavy. And I did zoom in and show you a little bit of what was going on under my eye. It's not really noticeable far away, but when you look up close, there's some dryness and almost like clinging. So even though it's a creamy formula, it's clinging a little bit. And I also had a hard time just like covering out here. So it's not bad, but it's not a formula that I feel like, wow, it really wowed me. I'll have to keep trying. The sponge for me is just not, you know, gonna fit in my under eye area. It's very soft. I feel like you could use this for like cream blush or whatever you wanna use it for. But in terms of getting like right in there, I need more of a point. So for me, again, this is just okay. As I said before, I am really enjoying this Sigma Power I like that it's not scented. I like that it's lightweight. It's matte. It's not chock full of shimmer and it really does set very lightly but it really smooths. So this is a great option if you have pores and texture like I do. I think you would really like this. If you find the Huda Beauty to be too scented or maybe just a little bit too heavy, this is a little bit lighter of a formula. So, so far I'm really impressed with this. I'm gonna keep trying it out, but every time I've used it, I've liked how smooth my complexion looked. And finally, the lip products from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I love the packaging they are super, super bright. So you have to really like like neon colors to enjoy these. I've said it before, but her lip liner formula is incredible. It's one of the best. And if you like bright colors, you would love these. The liquid lipsticks are liquid lipstick. They're dry. I don't really like liquid lipsticks. I don't wear them that often. I much prefer like a satin or a lip cream. So for me, it's just not really my jam. Although I do think it's beautiful if you have like bronzy makeup on with a bright lip. I just always go for a nude lip and something with a little bit more hydration. But overall, I feel like today it was kind of like a so so day. Nothing really that I was like, wow, other than the Sigma powder and I do like the Jaclyn lip jelly mask. So let me know down below what you think. Are you picking up these products? Have you tried them? I feel like I've seen nothing but positivity about the REM Beauty concealer. So maybe I'm just the one that it didn't work for, but I'll continue to test it out. As always, I will link everything that I use today down below in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe and stick around. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.